For phase three, we were challenged to create a dry stack arch, an arch without using mortar. And this posed a particular problem for us since we were replicating the Guastavino arches and domes in the City Hall station. Mortar is a very critical component of this method of construction. And as Guastavino outlines in his essay on the theory and history of cohesive construction, without using mortar, essentially one layer of voussoirs creates a system in which gravity and friction are the primary forces that support an arch. Whereas if one were to add mortar and another layer of bricks and so on, a new system emerges, that of cohesive construction. So, in order to face this new challenge, we decided to take a new direction, and that was creating lightweight concrete voussoirs to challenge ourselves in this dry stack competition. To create a lightweight but strong concrete, fiber was used as well as small styrofoam beads. Meanwhile, the principal ingredient in our concrete was Portland cement. Once measured by weight, these ingredients were carefully organized and prepared for mixing. Before these ingredients were mixed, however, 3D printed molds were created for each of our voussoirs. With the molds ready and materials carefully measured out, the components were ready to be mixed. After curing for 24 hours, voussoirs were demolded using a soldering iron against the polymer 3D printed molds. Once the demolding process was complete, Voussoirs were placed into a bucket of water to further strengthen them. A total of 31 bricks needed to be created for this project, so this process was repeated multiple times. center of our construction was our testing equipment, which passed directly through the arch.
All in all, a semicircular arch was constructed containing 31 voussoirs with an 18.5 inch intratus and a 23 inch extratus as well as height. Each voussoir weighs 763 grams, giving a total weight of 23.7 kilograms to the arch. Prior to the test of the completed arch, an individual piece of the concrete was tested for its strength using an Instron Model 1000 loading machine. Oh, I hear it. I just heard it's like snap. popping. It's like popcorn. Yes, done. Oh, so that's good? the peak. Fifth, that's it? 588 pounds. Done. This test revealed a load at failure of 588 pounds as well as a displacement of 5.1 millimeters meaning its compressive strength is 18 megapascals. After the completion of this test, the entire arch would be tested using the same machine. To measure the arch's properties, pressure was exerted directly onto its keystone. At its maximum, we observed a 25 kilogram load with 8.39 millimeters of vertical displacement. This revealed the arch could support 105% its self weight. While removing this pressure, we were able to observe the arch's manipulation around its thrust line. The arch was then loaded once more to its failure. For safety, everyone stood back as the machine performed its measurement. Now, let's take a look at that video again to determine why the arch failed in this pattern. As you can see, in a semicircular arch, the thrust line contacts its sides at three points across its span, and these are the resultant places where the arch broke. Overall, we were very happy to explore the properties of lightweight concrete through phase three of this competition. And on behalf of the CCNY team, we would like to thank Professor Mohamed Bolhassani, Walter Sedevic, APTPETC, and the Spitzer School of Architecture. Thank you so much for watching.